Sarang Murthy here um, on Isham Street in Burlington, Vermont, and I'm one of 3,300 hosts across America, and I'm hosting an event. Uh, it is a grassroots movement to get people involved with Bernie Sanders in whatever capacity that they can possibly get involved in. Um, so why I started this is I'm an econ major at UVM, and economics to me, uh, you know, over over the years, I've kind of gotten this feeling that the economics that we learn in school is not real world economics. And a lot of what Bernie Sanders has to say aligns with my views on that sort of economics. Um, moving on to his political campaigns over the years, he's always been for income inequality. He's been you know, I mean, issues issues of income inequality. He's always been for climate change. Um, you know, he's 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 always been a man who's spoken the truth to me, and I think that's why I thought I thought this would only be right for me to do to host an, an event like this and in my way help the campaign. Um, in just a few minutes, actually, uh, we will go live and Bernie Sanders will be talking to about 100,000 Americans uh, about how this nation can be saved. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I know that that makes it sound kind of dire, but I think that's what it, it has come to. And so we will see. So this is it. All right. It is really nice having all of you here. Um, I don't know a lot of you. Um, but I do know some of you and this whole event and like getting all of it this like you know start from like the ground up has been really really exciting and I really appreciate all of you for making out here and I, I really appreciate it so I am Saran um, I'm an econ major at UVM uh, a rising junior and um, you know how I was introduced to economics was, you'd say, you know, conventionally how any other economics student would have been introduced to the subject, and that is through this neoclassical lens of economics, which explains models to, to you through a, a rational agent. Now, a rational agent um, is an individual, an agent who is amoral, who is selfish, who doesn't, who acts in a way without thinking about the community, his, his or her friends, his or her family. And, you know, going, going with that, I think I was really skeptical about an, an idea like that. I don't think any of us can, can really, you know, look at our like, neighbors and say that they're selfish individuals who would only work in their self-interest. So, from there, you know, I, I've, I found Senator Bernie Sanders in various different capacities and you know I mean politically um, I think what Senator Sanders has been talking about has been relatively the same you know for over like 30 years now. Uh, he was actually mayor of this great city in the 80s and he's always been talking about how income inequality needs to be alleviated and how climate change needs to be dealt with. And I think that's something that the youth especially can identify with. Uh, somebody who isn't afraid to speak up for the truth, really. And somebody who cannot be bought. And I, and you know, I mean, I see some of you here, you're all young, I know, but, you know, uh, I see some of you who are older than, than I am, and I really would like to know, and I think all of us would like to know why you all are here. Uh, you don't have to, to like say anything, of course. Uh, if you're comfortable with, please introduce yourself. And uh, if not, you can, you can just listen to all the other folks. So do we want to start that way, Audrey?
here because I agree with Bernie Sanders' policy and plans for the education system in the United States. Um, I'm Naomi Cunningham. Um, I'm also a rising junior. I'm an ecological agriculture major, and I've been for Bernie forever because I'm from Vermont. But in particular, his environmental standpoints and standpoints on income inequality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'm Marie. Um, I'm a recent graduate, undergraduate, um, and I'm here just because I really love his stance on income inequality and specifically on uh, healthcare as a human right and the human healthcare system. Mike Castro. I'm a kind of a perennial student, much older than all of the couple of you combined. But uh, I've been working on outsider of uh, kind of intrepid candidates for the longest time, and I've never seen a surge as, as deep and strong as this one. I think it's, it's, it's time it has come. And I want to urge all of you really to go peer to peer on this because your generation can really call the shots on this election. Thank you. I'm a Steve Netko. I'm going to school at UVM for a PhD in Educational Leadership and Policy Studies. Um, <clears throat> and I think uh, Bernie Sanders just personally represents a lot of my political views, and I think he's the leader that our country needs. So I'm here to support him. Hi, my name is Mackenzie Beats. Um, I work for a craft brewery incubator here in town. Um, I am here because I also agree with Bernie Sanders' beliefs. Um, the more I hear people who've known him in the past who talk about him say that he's really stuck to everything he said in the past, which I think, you know, really rings true. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to see how it goes and support it. I'm Linnea. Um, I'm going to be an incoming freshman at UVM this year. I moved here from Chicago about two months ago, so I'm here just to learn more about Bernie Sanders and his policies. My name is Evan, and I'm a research scientist at the Vermont State Climate Office, which is in University of Vermont. And um, I'm from Michigan, actually. I was just here for two years. So I haven't known Bernie for that long, but this past winter, I, um, I found out about Bernie. I actually stopped drinking uh, a lot at about the time I found Bernie, and I thought that I might be tripping because this guy was so awesome. <laughs> and so really, he just fits about almost everything that I like. And, um, and the more I figured out about Bernie, and the more I've watched everybody like uh, find out about Bernie, at this point, I think I'm mostly in it for the political revolution. Just a whole flipping, all the kids and everybody getting out, and, um, and then Bernie changing everything. So that's, that's what I'm in it for right cool. now. Um, I'm Jess. I'm from Rhode Island, actually. I'm a student here. Um, I have to agree with Evan on everything he said about this revolution. I really love Bernie's um, stance on education and uh, economic equality, too. I'm Kenny. I'm from Minnesota. I moved here a couple years ago with Jess, and I'm a junior at UVM in the middle level education program as well. And I just, I was really, you know, fascinated and, and supportive of the student led, you know, like passionate up uprising, I guess. Maybe we can outvote the baby boomers or. Uh, at least take over a little bit. So. Uh, I'm Mike. I'm a junior at UVM in social work. Uh, I've been a lifelong Vermonter, and Bernie Sanders has been one of the few politicians who's actually given me hope for the state, the country in general since that time. So I'm just, you know, ecstatic to see him out running for president and trying to spread that message around. So. Uh, Graham, I uh, actually live upstairs. Um, I'll be a junior at UVM. And uh, super excited that Strong had this event, um, and super supportive of Bernie. He's uh, you know couldn't be more proud of a Vermont man. Um, he really just knows how to tell us straight and focus on important issues, and doesn't worry about what anyone thinks of. All right, so all of you here probably know that we uh, that. Bernie Sanders now has this live stream that's seven, at 730 this stream goes live and um, I'm one of 3520 um, hosts now and just last night we actually got the email that was 3300 so that's amazing and 104,290 people at this grassroots movement and I think when Bernie Sanders talks about grassroots this is literally exactly what he means he means 
start from the bottom, right? Start from the bottom, and then he and then he wants to get all the way up there, you know. And I think that this is this is this is really really exciting. Um, you know, I I want I want this event uh, and events across America to inspire Americans like us to vote for change, to vote for a better America, and I think that it really helps having a candidate like Bernie Sanders out there who cannot be bought. And I think that's I think that's why all of us are are here now. So I I would like to give all of you a big hand for coming out here. Thank you. Well let's make this great. Friends, I'm Kemi Morton, a civil rights attorney and longtime resident of Anacostia here in Washington DC. I'm so excited to be here tonight with an apartment full of neighbors and the opportunity to introduce someone whom I truly respect, Senator Bernie Sanders. If you're like me, you've spent your life hoping and waiting for a moment like this, a true people's movement. And tonight, Bernie and over 100,000 Americans, well, we're making history. Did you know that there are more than 3,000 House meetings just like this being held across the United States tonight? Over 100,000 people are attending these meetings. Volunteering to build this campaign and the political revolution that we, the people, are setting in motion. Bernie's surely doing something right to get 100,000 folks out on a Wednesday night. Now that this moment has come, we are on the move. And with your help, we will win. Aren't you sick and tired of reading about another African American shot down in our streets or dying in police custody? Aren't you sick and tired of talented young people being unable to attend college because they can't afford Aren't you sick and tired that the massive economic gain that we earn with our labor goes to the top 1% while millions of Americans live in poverty or are unemployed? Aren't you sick and tired of next to nothing happening on immigration or climate change? If so, and if you want to stop feeling sick and tired and start feeling better, then join me and others in working to elect a president who is not beholden to Wall Street. I'm talking about Bernie Sanders. A man who for decades has stood against police brutality and mass incarceration, who has always voted to protect our environment, and who has the best civil rights record of any candidate. Join me in fighting for change across our great nation. Join me now in welcoming our candidate for President of the United States, Senator Bernie Sanders. Thank you very much. Well, let me thank Kemi for that great introduction. The only problem is she gave half my speech. All right, but I'll have to do the best that I can do. And uh, as Kemi indicated, uh, tonight really is an historical night, and all of us are part of making history. To the best of our knowledge, uh, there has never been a political online organizing effort this early in a campaign, which involved over 100,000 people in 3,500 locations in every state in the United States of America. That's pretty impressive, and I thank you all very much for making it happen. Uh, I am often asked by the media uh, why there is so much excitement in our campaign. Uh, why have so many people come out to our rallies? Uh, why have we received over 325,000 individual contributions, more than any other candidate? Why are we seeing spontaneous uprisings, if you like, and meetings in cities and towns all over this country? 
And here is my answer. My answer is that the American people are saying loudly and clearly, enough is enough. This great country and our government belong to all of us and not just a handful of billionaires. Enough is enough. We cannot, as a nation, continue to have the most unequal distribution of wealth and income of any major country on earth. No, it is not acceptable that the rich get richer and everybody else gets poorer, that while we see a proliferation of millionaires and billionaires, we have more kids living in poverty than any other major industrialized society. No, it is not right that major corporations make billions of dollars in profit and in some cases pay nothing at all in federal taxes. Enough is enough. We have got to reverse the 40-year decline of the American middle class. While we have seen an explosion in technology and in worker productivity, there is something wrong when millions of our people are working two or three jobs to cobble together an income and some health care. Enough is enough. We cannot continue to maintain a starvation minimum wage of $7.25 an hour. It is wrong that people are working 40 or 50 hours a week and still living in poverty. Shame. Enough is enough. We've got to raise that minimum wage to $15 an hour. <laughs> enough is enough. Enough is enough. We cannot continue to have real unemployment at over 10 percent in this country. We cannot continue to have a horrendous situation where 35, 40 percent of our young people who are high school graduates are unemployed or underemployed. It seems to me that just maybe, just maybe, instead of having the highest rate of incarceration of any major country on earth, instead of throwing our kids in jail, maybe we should provide them with education and jobs. Just maybe. Yeah. Maybe, just maybe, in the wealthiest country in the history of the world, we should not have a situation where hundreds of thousands of bright and capable young people are unable to afford to go to college. They have the ability, they have the desire, they just don't have the money. And enough is enough when millions of people leave school deeply in debt with interest rates of 7, 8, 10 percent. Enough is enough, and that is why we must make sure that public colleges and public universities in America are tuition free. Enough is enough, as Kemi said. We are tired. We are tired of seeing black women yanked out of a car, thrown to the ground, assaulted, put in handcuffs, and then sent to jail and die three days later in the case of Sandra Bland for what crime? She didn't signal that she made a left turn. And we're seeing that all over this country. Enough is enough. We have got to combat institutional racism in the United States of America. <laughs> enough, enough is enough. In this great nation, we need a campaign finance system that creates a vibrant democracy, not a campaign finance system that allows billionaires to buy politicians as a result of the Citizens United Supreme Court decision. Enough is enough. We are going to overturn Citizens United. We are going to appoint nominees to the Supreme Court who will tell us loudly and clearly that Citizens United is going to end. Enough is enough. 11 million undocumented people in this country 
people who are now living in the shadows. They need a path toward citizenship. They cannot, <laughs> these people cannot be, continue to be exploited. Their families cannot continue to be broken up. We will fight for a path toward citizenship and comprehensive immigration reform. Enough is enough. The United States of America, our great country, cannot be the only major industrialized nation that does not guarantee health care to all of our people as a right. And that has got to change, and it will change, through a Medicare for all single-payer system. And enough is enough. The United States cannot continue to be the only major country without a medical and family leave policy. When a woman has a baby in this country, regardless of her income, she has the right to stay home with that baby. The father has a right to stay home for that baby. We also need paid, guaranteed sick time and vacation time for our workers as well. I don't have to tell anybody that these are very, very difficult times in America. And as I have said over and over again, Bernie Sanders alone, as President of the United States, is not going to solve all of these problems. The only way we take on the Koch brothers, the only way we take on the billionaire class in corporate America, and these people who have unbelievable amounts of money and power, the only way I know that we do that is when we put together a strong grassroots movement of millions and millions of people. And that is what I mean by a political revolution, and that is what you are involved in today. Now, they have the money, they have the power, they control a lot of the media. All of that is true, and this struggle is a tough struggle. But I believe from the bottom of my heart, when millions of people stand together, when we overcome race issues, when we overcome when we overcome questions of whether somebody was born in America or not, when we, when we overcome issues of sexual orientation or gender issues, when we don't let our opponents divide us up by race or sexual orientation or all that stuff, when we stand together, there is nothing, nothing, nothing that we cannot accomplish. That's what the political... That is, that is what this political revolution is about. So together, it's not just me, it's all of you. We need your help knocking on doors. We need your help making phone calls. We need your help to talk to your brothers and your sisters, your coworkers, your family members. Bring them into the movement. And when we do all of that, we are going to make history in November 2016. Thank you so much for participating in this political revolution. They ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you, and you win. And I, <laughs> I predict you will win. Thank you so, so much. You're Thank you very much. You. you just heard from Bernie about why we need a political revolution in this country. Now, let me tell you about how we are going to make that happen together. Our task is to translate this groundswell of support into a coordinated grassroots movement in all 50 states. Already, there are fantastic field campaigns underway in early primary states like Iowa and New Hampshire, with amazing organizers and local leaders who are working hard to win those primaries. But to win this election and build a real political revolution, we need to be everywhere. We need you to bring this movement to your community by doing unglamorous but essential work like knocking on doors, calling voters, voter registration, uh, helping out with big campaign events like the ones that have made headlines in Madison and Phoenix, and hosting other events like the one that you're at tonight. Doing all of these things and more is how we're going to turn huge crowds and popular support for Bernie into winning. So everyone, please take out your smartphone right now, and I want you to text the word WORK to the number 82623. That's WORK to 82623, because after you sign up, in just a moment, we're going to put you to work. And if you don't have a smartphone, that's okay. 
ask your host for a, a printed volunteer sign-up form, or go to berniesanders.com slash work when you're in front of a computer. And everyone who has a smartphone, you should have just gotten the link to a volunteer sign-up form. Click on that link and start filling out that form now. All the things that I just mentioned, like knocking on doors and making phone calls, are listed there on that form. You can tell us what you're interested in doing, and also what role you'd like to play. We need some of you to step up and actually coordinate these volunteer activities in your communities, just as over 3,500 of you organized these extremely successful events tonight and turned out over 100,000 people between all of you, and you did that. Um, if you want to be a coordinator, we will give you how-to guides, support, training, and materials, so you won't be on your own. If you don't want to coordinate and you just want to help, that's okay too. And as you're filling out that form, let me tell you what comes next specifically. Starting tomorrow, we're going to reach out to everyone who filled out that form tonight and get you started doing this critical campaign work. If you're in an early primary state like Iowa or New Hampshire, we're going to plug you into the existing field campaigns in those states and you'll be contacted by on-the-ground staff there. For everyone else, we're going to work with you to build out this movement in the rest of the country, just like we worked with over 3,500 of you to make tonight the biggest event of the 2016 election so far. And, you know, tonight is really a testament to just how much can happen in a volunteer-driven grassroots effort. And over the next 15 months, we're going to do a lot more together. So if you haven't yet, text WORK to 82623 or go to berniesanders.com work. Um, it's an honor to be with you in this movement, and we're so excited for what comes next. And, uh, and now we're going to hear from Larry Cohen, uh, past president of Communication Workers of America, who's going to close out our program. Thanks, Claire. As Claire said, I'm Larry Cohen, and I'm a volunteer, like all of you, for Bernie Sanders. As Claire said as well, until a few weeks ago, I was the president of the Communication Workers of America. 700,000 working Americans. And two days after my term end, ended, I went to see Bernie and said, Bernie, I'm going to volunteer. And at that time I said 10 hours a week, and it's become more like 10 hours a day. But this is the same excitement and energy that so many of us who are holding these events uh, are feeling across this country. As Bernie said, this is a political revolution, but we have to build it. It's not just about following Bernie. It's about what we're going to do in Waterloo or Council Bluffs, what we're going to do in Concord, New Hampshire, or in Manchester, what we're going to do in Charleston or Columbia, what we're going to do in Carson City and Las Vegas, and in every other state in the country. And tonight is our jump start. But it really does depend, as Claire said, on every single one of the more than 100,000 people texting right now to 82623, message work. And I'm committing that in the next 24 hours, I will get three more people to do that as well. Three more people, 82623. If we each do that, we'll have another 500,000 people. This is how we build this. We can't build this through the staff of the campaign, as amazing as they are. We can't build it through this amazing leader that I've known for 20 years, who's been in the streets with us, as well as in the Congress, who's there all the time for working Americans, regardless, as he said, of where we come from, or what job we do, or even where we live, far beyond Vermont. So I couldn't say more uh, than this, really. It's all about our energy and our work and what we're going to do tonight when we text and what we're going to do tomorrow when we get three more, 82623. We can all feel this, not just in this room, but in 3,500 rooms. We're part of an historic moment, but our job is to build an historic movement. Thanks for joining us tonight, working with us in the days and months ahead. Solidarity and good night. Really wonderful having you all over, um, and I think we only go forward from here.